five dollars. What? Hey gorgeous, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Morgan and today I'm sharing with you how you can save a thousand dollars in a year on your nails. Obviously, I know that probably sounds clickbaity or too good to be true, but I just created this look on my nails, this manicure in under 10 minutes and for less than $5. So if you want more information as to how I did that, just go ahead and stick around. I think it goes without saying that we all feel more put together when we have our nails done. I hated how much money I was having to spend and how much time I was having to spend. If you love going to get your nails done because that's your self-care thing and it makes you feel so refreshed and renewed afterwards, do you? But for me, I would sit there and be so impatient knowing I was about to spend an hour, sometimes an hour and a half, unable to do anything else because my hands are occupied. At least if I'm getting a pedicure, I can like be responding to your guys' comments or you know, scrolling mindlessly through Instagram. So I stopped for a while and that didn't make me feel good either, so I thought there had to be a better way. Well, I have finally found something that I'm really, really excited about. This is the third time that I've done it myself and I just couldn't wait any longer to share it with you. All that you're gonna need is this Kiss revolutionary acrylic nails. The difference between this and, okay, let's be real, I haven't put nails like this onto myself since I was like, I don't know, 14 or something. I glued my legs together. It was a nightmare and I was like, never again until I saw these. It's different. What I've noticed is that they have a really thick edge. So the, the tip of the nail feels like an actual acrylic nail and not just like super flimsy and when I've tried them out, I've tried them out two other times before this, I was able to get 10 days of wear out of the first manicure and it's only five dollars. You can pick it up at Target. You get two uses out of this and then on top of it to get the gel look also because you know, regular nail polish just doesn't do it for me anymore. I don't know. Just do the Essie Gel Couture. And you can find these again at Target. But honestly, you could probably use any nail polish that you have. And the key is to use the Gel Couture top coat. Let's talk really quick about how much money you're going to save. So most recently when I was getting my nails done, it was costing $40 before tip every two to three weeks. I was doing the dip manicures, which is something that I'm definitely gonna look into doing myself and sharing with you guys also. But the last time that I was getting acrylic nails with gel over on top, I was still spending 30 to $35 depending on where I was going. So just to do the math with you guys really quick, 35 and that I was having to do every two weeks times two, $70. And that's assuming that's no tip in there times 12. $840. So let's say we tipped uh, seven bucks, okay? 35 plus seven, 42, $1,008. I don't know about you guys, but I would much rather put that money into like a Hawaiian vacation as opposed to just seeing it on my nails. <laughs> and not to mention that I'm saving so much time. This took me, like I said, 10 minutes. So easy. The longest process of it is matching up your nails to make sure you get a good fit and then just waiting for paint to dry. Like, come on, that is just simple. It's definitely less harsh on your nails than the actual acrylic is. Obviously, we're still using glue and that's something that I would like to avoid because it does make your nails feel a little bit weak when you take them off. But if you're getting acrylic already, then that's something that you're sacrificing as it is. If you're interested though, I will look into gel options at home and dip manicure options at home. Just be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave it in the comments below if you'd like to see that. Without further ado, I'm gonna just go ahead and jump into this and show you exactly how I did this. So so the first thing that you're gonna do is take the artificial acrylic nails and match them up to your actual nails for the size and the width. There are plenty of nails to choose from. I did not have a hard time doing this, but if you do have issues, you can always file the size of the nails to make them fit better. So the most important thing that I've learned in this application process is to make sure that you're applying the glue to both your actual nail and to the artificial nail. This will help them last much longer, basically double the amount of time, and this is what the directions say 
I just thought that I could do a little less wear and tear on my nail by only applying it to the artificial nail, but they ended up coming off much sooner, so definitely do both. Another tip that I found is that if you have any of the glue seeping out because maybe there was just too much, if you quickly, and I mean very quickly, wipe it away with the paper towel, this way you will not have your fingers <laughs> stuck together, but you also won't end up with the paper towel stuck on the glue. Okay, so once you are finished gluing them on, you're just going to want to give them a little bit of a file down because the tips where you broke off the holder is still a little bit evident sometimes. Um, and then also, you can cut them down. This was the first time that I didn't. They are the real short, so for some people they are definitely short enough. I actually really love how these nails look without any polish on them, but I am going to go ahead and polish them because I think that that just makes them look better longer. So I'm going to use the Essie Gel Couture in Alpine Snow on all of my fingernails for the first time and then I will go back in and do my middle finger and my ring finger with the accent nails. I think this definitely makes it look like they are more professionally done as opposed to just doing a solid set color, but I also like just doing white. Make sure that you are painting the very tip of your nail. This will make it look again like they are much more professionally done. And be sure to go in layers. You're just going to want to go and work very slowly with the polish so that it doesn't get streaky or clumpy. I ended up needing three coats of the white, three coats of the pink, and three coats of the glitter. I probably could have gone for four coats of the glitter just because obviously glitter isn't quite as opaque, but I liked how it looked after the three and then I finished with the top coat and I think that they look perfect. It's easy to speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. is that I feel like one of the keys in order to make this look like someone else didn't you didn't do it at home so to make sure that you paint that top edge of your nail that's something that I've actually had people skip even in the salon sometimes and it looks so much less finished so make sure that you hit that top edge of the nail make sure that you're using some sort of gel top coat get a lot of that shine and a lot of that last and if you are going to give this a try comment below and let me know because i would love for you to save that thousand dollars <sighs> i already had those nail polishes on hand and let's be real they'll probably last me the whole year so if i had to buy one kit a month for the next 12 months I would spend 60 bucks. $60 as opposed to $1,000. That is wild and I am so excited to be able to share this with you guys. If you like this kind of video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed so you see my future videos. So you see when I post videos like this in the future and thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Well, I'm a mad woman. Sorry I don't come from my... 
mad woman, mad woman. Keep calling me a mad woman. 